When it comes to beautiful native flowers, it is hard to beat the lobelias. Their tubular flowers are a hit with pollinators, and the tall flower spikes are quite eye-catching in the pollinator garden. The lobelia species flower in three colors, red, white, and blue. So there's likely a lobelia that will fit your garden goals and personal taste. Let's get started with the striking cardinal flower, Lobelia cardinalis, so named for its brilliant red flowers, which bloom from May to October, depending on location. The long, red tubular flowers are mainly pollinated by hummingbirds, which seem to be ever-present when cardinal flower is in bloom. Larger butterflies and bumblebees will also visit the blooms. It is widespread throughout eastern North America and can be found growing in full sun to shade in a wide variety of moist to wet soils. Cardinal flower requires quite a bit of moisture and is not drought tolerant. It is a great choice for a rain garden or around a vernal pool or pond. Size can vary, but cardinal flower is usually from two to four feet tall, although under excellent conditions, it can reach six feet with a one to two foot spread. If you love the native lobelias, hover like a hummingbird and pollinate that like button. Next up is a white flowered lobelia, pale spiked lobelia, lobelia spicata. Although this lobelia is often seen with white flowers, it can be quite variable and some plants may have pale blue to lavender colored flowers. The small tubular flowers bloom from May through August, depending on location, and attract the smaller native bees, smaller butterflies, skippers, and of course, hummingbirds. This species is more tolerant of dry conditions once established and can be found growing in a wide variety of dry to moist soils in full sun to shade. It is also a small lobelia and grows from one to two feet tall with a less than one foot spread. Pale spiked lobelia has a wide range in Eastern North America. The lobelias all have mildly toxic latex containing sap, which makes them unpalatable to most mammalian herbivores. While they are deer resistant, I have seen deer top young lobelia sprouts with seemingly no ill effects. When it comes to deer, no plant is safe. If you have a story about the deer munching your establishing native plants, tell us about it down in the comments. Another stunning species is the great blue lobelia, Lobelia syphilitica, aptly named for its brilliant blue blooms, which can be seen from July through October, depending on location, and attract the larger native bees, larger butterflies, and hummingbirds. This is a plant that prefers moist to wet conditions and is not drought tolerant. If conditions are moist, great blue lobelia will grow in a wide variety of soils and in full sun to shade. Another great rain garden candidate. This is a large plant and will normally be from two to four feet tall, but may reach five feet under some conditions with a one to two foot spread. Great blue lobelia has a large range in Eastern North America, but it is mostly found in the upper half of the United States. In case you are wondering about its species name, Syphilitica, at one time it was thought that great blue lobelia was a cure for syphilis. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. The lobelias mainly bloom in mid to late summer, an important time for pollinators. Another critical time for pollinators is in the fall, and to learn about some plants that bloom at that time, Check out this video and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.